So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you find the whole of GCSE Maths Explained on video or for free. This video is about adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing numbers. Let's start with the adding bit. Okay, 309 plus 28. Let's just add one column after the other beginning with the smallest numbers. So 9 plus 8 is 17. Notice how I write 17. I write a 7 and carry the extra unit, the 1 bit, to the next column. Then I do 0 plus 2 plus 1 is 3 and then I got 3 plus nothing is 3 if I if that answer gave a do double digit answer like this one does this one gave a 17 which is double digit isn't it yeah that extra unit went to that one so if this one had an extra digit that would go to the next column as well that's how you just do it and then you add it in the next column so as simple as that let's do a bit of taking away you got 274 that's the original question 274 take away 159 okay but we do some messing around with that so we, that we can do the taking away um, and notice we have to have the biggest number first then take away the smaller number okay um, you can do it in real life the other way around but then you'd get a negative answer but it doesn't really work with this technique okay um, so Let's do it. So we're going to try to start off by doing 4 take away 9, always starting with a smaller column on the right hand side here. Yeah? So 4 take away 9, but you can't do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a unit from here. So that was a 7, so that makes it a 6 and a 1. Okay, 7 is 6 plus 1, isn't it? Yeah? So take that 1, 10 basically, that's a 10, and a, stick it on with that 4, make it, make it a 14 because the 10 and a 4 makes 14. So you've got 14 take away 9 is 5. You can do that. And then you've got 6 take away 5 is 1, and 2 take away 1 is 1, and your job's done. Now, sometimes you might have to borrow here. I mean, so borrow from here to use here, if I couldn't do 6 take away 5, but I can do 6 take away 5 and give it a positive answer. This is just a bit of explanation again. 74 turned into 60 and a 14. That's all that really happened. Let's do a bit of timesing. Um, what we're going to do, roughly speaking, is 5 times everything and put the answer there. Then 20 times everything. And p so 20 times everything, I say there. Here, put the answer there. And since we would have done it in two parts, add the two answers together and you would have got the answer there. Okay. Um, did I say the answer to this was 115? Anyway. Um, so... Uh, where am I going, where am I going, yep, so 5 times 6 is 30, so put a 0 there and put the 3 there, that's 30, okay, 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 3 makes 23, so I write 3, big 3, and put a little 2 there, and then 5 times 3 is 15, but I've got a little 2 there is already, so that makes 17, so I write 7, and put the 1 there, but this time I write a big 1, because I know there's no more times you need to do in this column, so there's no need to write a small more one, just write a big one because it's not going to add to anything else. Anyway, now here's the slightly interesting bit. Uh, instead of doing 20 times everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little zero to begin with, okay? Uh, just one zero because this is uh, starting from the second column, so this should start from the second column. If there was another number over here, I would have started from the third column, yeah? Multiplying. So I put a zero there, and by putting a zero there automatically make my answer ten times bigger, so it becomes like timesing by twenty. But in practice, I'm just doing two times everything. So two times six is twelve. So write two carry the one. So that's a twelve there. Then two times four is eight. But I've got a one there already. That all together makes nine. A plus one is nine. And two times three is six. And that's it really. So I've got my two rows. Add them together. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus two is five. I'm just adding the big numbers. Those small numbers are previous working out. 7 plus 9 is 16, that one is over here, 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8, so 346 times 25 is 8650. Okay, so again that's just explaining, you know, 5 times blah 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 was this bit and to 20 times blah 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 was this bit, okay? Um, so, the I've purposely used the same numbers as over here, 
Okay, I'm just trying to demonstrate what happens when you put a decimal point in the question. Okay, you can see I've circled the numbers behind the decimal point. I've got two numbers behind the decimal point here, one number behind the decimal point there, all together three numbers behind the decimal point. So what I'm trying to say here is the working out is the same except for since this has got decimal points and the question is going to have decimal points in the answer and how many? Well, there are three numbers behind the decimal point here, so you have to have three numbers behind the decimal point there. So you've got the same sort of same digits, 8650, 8650, we just put three of them behind the decimal point, the first three sign from the right, uh, 1, 2, 3, and your answer is 8.650, and your job is done. I didn't really have to have this there, to be honest, I'm just showing that's the same stuff, really. Um, let's do a bit of division now. So, 6 is into 2, doesn't go. 6 does not fit into 2, does it? Um, so, let's just carry that 2 to the next column. It's a bit like all this other stuff isn't it? We're carrying stuff and borrowing stuff. So 6 is into 2 doesn't go. Borrow. Take that 2 to here. So now I do 6 is into 20. Yes, that goes 3 times. 6 times 3 is 18. That leaves me with an extra uh, 2 that's not being used because the difference between 20 and 18, which is 6 times 3, is 2. 18 plus 2 is 20, yeah? So uh, that 2 gets used in the next place. So I do 6 is into 27. That goes 4 times because 6 times 4 is 24, okay? Which leaves me with an extra 3 that hasn't been used because 24 plus 3 is 27. Yeah, so now I've got 6 is into 30. Now, originally the question would have been 20.7, but I've added an extra zero. Actually, I've added a few zeros just for the fun of it, yeah? Just to demonstrate, you can just keep adding zeros because it doesn't actually make the number bigger. 20.7 is the same as 20.7000000. Yeah, so now, anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to do 6 is into 30. And that's what the reason why I put the zero there so I can actually write 30. Yeah? Otherwise, it just be doesn't. You can't do it. So 6 is into 30 goes exactly 5 times, and my job is done. I didn't actually need to actually put those extra zeros, but I just did it for the fun of it. Now, so my final answer, by the way, is um, 6 is into 20.7 is 3.45. And notice the decimal points go um, in the same position. Okay, right underneath each other. Uh, what about this? Six times, sorry, no, example six, uh, is uh, three times 100, it's just 300 because I put two extra zeros. If I had three zeros for I, six, three times 1,000, I would have put 3,000. That's it. So just count the zeros. What happens if you have a decimal point in the first bit? So 4.2 times a number with four zeros. So all I do is move the decimal point four places. A one, a two, a three, a four. Four lumps. And in each of those lumps, you'll have a number. So I've already got a number in that lump. Uh, but I have to put zeros in the remaining lumps and then put my decimal point there. So my answer is 42,000 to this question, which is 4.2 times... Um, 10,000, yeah. Anyway, and dividing is very similar to uh, times things, just going the other way. So this is actually like 8.0 really, so it's pretending the decimal point is there. And you've got three zeros, so move the decimal point three times, so a one, a two, a three. Okay, so fill it with zeros as before, so put a zero in that lump there, put a zero in this little crevice here. Okay, but you've got a decimal point there, so you have to put a zero in front, because you can't just write point zero zero eight. You, you, if you want to write it as a proper number, you write 0 0.008. Anyway, same thing here again, divide by 100, move it two places, because you've got two zeros, a one, a two. Yeah, one, two, and uh, just put a zero as before, and you've already got your numbers inside those crevices. No need to fill it up with extra zeros. So your answer is 0 0.984 to, to the question. 98.4 divided by 100 is 0 0.984, and that's it.